welcome. Witches, ha, ah, marvelous beasts for the hunt. These ghoulish creatures ravish themselves in blood, sin, and sacrifice in exchange for eternal life. Our film tonight bridges many centuries. As you'll soon see, the witch Elizabeth Selwyn and her friends are very, very persistent. Come with me to 1692. Come with me to the Salem Witch Trials. Come with us to two rockin' Saturday night parties that have been going on for 300 years. Come then to the Horror Hotel. seeking out young women. In 1960, you say such things shouldn't exist. We'll just ring for doom service and see what's on the menu when Horror Hotel continues. Hotel was filmed in 1960 and was originally titled City of the Dead. It was directed by John L. Moxley, whose other films include Psycho Circus, TV's Night Stalker, and British television's The Avengers. You may remember John Steed and Emma Peel. Now, buckle your seatbelt. Next stop, Horror Hotel. Because there is no reason to lift it. There is nothing underneath but earth. Spooky town, this Whitewood. And Jethro Keen, is he a distant ancestor of the Jethro Keen burned as a witch in 1692? Or is he 300 years old? And what of this lovely singing that comes through the trap door to Anne's room? And Mrs. Newless, isn't that odd that the music stops when she enters the room? I hope Nan brought a pad to jot down all the first-hand information she's about to receive when Horror Hotel continues. Christopher Lee, who plays the evil Dr. Alan Driscoll, also started another film that year entitled The Two Faces of Dr. Jekyll. Lee was born in 1922. He is most famous for his Hammer film monsters such as Dracula, Frankenstein, and The Mummy. He did it all. And oh yes, his Kung Fu movies were pretty good too. Now back to Horror Hotel. <laughs> Isn't that Selwyn backwards? And what about good friend Dr. Alan Driscoll? Well, he set Nan up for murder. One hopping Saturday night party down. One more to go. Better read between the lines. We'll be back. Now on the bright side, Norman McGowan, who plays the Reverend Russell, whose classic quote was, Leave Whitewood, I beg of you. You must leave Whitewood before it's too late. Was a man of the cloth in real life. And his granddaughter, what can we say? Now back to the Horror Hotel. So, Nan Barlow was not only murdered, but mutilated in the Candlemas Eve ceremony. And what of this witch's Sabbath? Is Miss Russell to endure the same fate? Don't blink. You might be next when Horror Hotel continues. Our special guest tonight is producer, director, Roger Corbin. We've had the privilege of meeting up with Roger at the Chiller Convention in Sea Caucus, New Jersey this Halloween. Here are some pieces 
from that paper. I think people like uh, science fiction and horror specifically in general. And I think on my films, I've tr always tried to have a certain visual style and to put in some thought behind it so that it's a horror film and maybe something in addition, without ever losing track of the fact that it's a horror film. Right. <laughs> of all the movies you produced, what was your personal favorite? I don't know if I have any one personal. Um, maybe some of the Edgar Allan Poe pictures, the Pit and the Pendulum or The oh. Raven or Mask of the Red Death. After taking a break for 17 years from directing, uh, how did it feel to finally come back and, and direct after all those years? Well, as a matter of fact, I wondered about that, what it was going to be like. And we were shooting in uh, northern Italy outside of Milan. And uh, I remember thinking about it as I drove to the location on the first day. And the uh, set wasn't prepared the way I'd asked them to prepare it. So I got out of the car and said, all right, fellas, now look, I told you I want this here and this there, and I thought a minute later, I'm just directing again. I'm just doing what I've always done. Uh, uh, Roger, what, what do you have new in the works here that we can look forward to seeing? I start shooting next week on Carnosaur 3. Wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> and I do a picture um, in the beginning of November called Ghost Ship. We've seen you with like a whole horde of fans over there. I mean, do, do you like coming out and meeting your fans and seeing people? It's fun. It's fun if you don't do it too much because then it starts to get repetition. But if you do it, say, once or twice a year, then it really is fun. Wow, that's fantastic. Hey, thanks for being on our show. Uh, I'm sure we're all looking forward to this carnosaur. If you need anybody for the dinosaur to eat, just, just call us up. We'll come on. <laughs> Very good. Thank you so much. Very good. Thank you. Thank you so much. We'd like to thank Roger Corman for being our guest here at the Chiller Theater Convention. Now, back to Horror Hotel. And so the hunt is on. Miss Russell is being prepared for the Witch's Sabbath. Can Professor Barlow save her knowing his colleague Alan Driscoll was burned as a witch centuries ago? The plot thickens when Horror Hotel returns. Horror Hotel is regarded today as one of the top films on modern day witches in England. Hammer actress Veronica Carlson, who has a starring role in the remake of Horror Hotel, has just finished filming. I have here with me a poster of the original Horror Hotel. This was drawn by original EC Comics artist Jack Davis. And our good friend Jethro Keen, the witch, was played by Valentine Dale. He also starred in one of the classic films, The Haunting, as the caretaker, Mr. Dudley. And now, for the conclusion of the frightening horror hotel.